up LB squad what's up YouTube it's your girl Keela and I'm back with another video so y'all see how bad this breakout is on my face well I will be trying a new skincare routine with all new skincare products that I've never tried before and I'm gonna take y'all through this journey with me now let's get into the products I'll be using this is African black soap clarifying mud mask Overnight resurfacing serum and balancing moisturizer all made by Shea Moisture. I also purchased a facial steamer in my favorite color pink of course. But this nano ionic facial steamer is made by Lenovo or Lenove. And it comes with facial tools such as a pimple popper. All the products y'all seen thus far were all purchased from Amazon. While y'all watch me pick at my face, let me just say this video is not sponsored and any opinions expressed in this video are my own and were not influenced in any way. I know some of y'all are going to be in the comments like, oh, you shouldn't pick at your face, you shouldn't pop your pimples, blah, blah, blah. But y'all, I can't help myself. And the fact that the steamer came with tools, oh yeah, I was all up in my face. So the first step is cleansing. For this step, I'll be using the African Black Soap with Shea Butter Face Bar. So before I apply this soap, I wet my face with warm water. Y'all, that facial steamer heated up a little too quick. Had to turn that thing off because I wasn't quite ready to use that yet. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I also bought a pack of exfoliating gloves and that's what I'll be using to apply the actual soap to get my face all cleansed and clean. So now that I'm done with that step, I'm going to get ready to rinse my face. And during the rinse part, I rinse my face in cool water. So I just took a white rag, also wet that in cool water just to get the excess water off my face. And instead of rubbing, I actually patted it dry. On to the second step, I grab my seat, grab my facial steamer, we're gonna let this thing heat up and we're gonna go ahead and start steaming. So the steamer didn't take long at all to heat up. I will be doing the facial steam for approximately 10 minutes. Um, I set my own timer, but the thing I love about this facial steamer is that it actually cuts off on its own after 10 minutes. Don't mind me y'all, I was looking for something to apply the face mask with next. How you shoot a 510 B with a 22? <laughs> I was thinking negative style here y'all. Right, so the facial steaming part is over, on to step three. So step three is gonna be me applying the clarifying mud mask. Now that the mask is applied, we're gonna let that sit on for 10 minutes. All right, I'm back. 
I let the mask sit on for 10 minutes and now it's time to wipe it off. So per the instructions on the mask, it is not to be rinsed off, but to be wiped off. So I took my same white red from the beginning of the video and wet this also with cool water and wiped my face off. And for those who may be wondering why I'm using cool water, anytime you're moisturizing or giving yourself a facial, when you're done with certain products, you want to rinse or wipe off with cool water because that's what helps lock the moisture in, get your pores to close up so that moisture, moisturizer, you know, whatever it was that you were using can stay locked into your skin. So I just gave the rag another rinse with cool water just to do one last wipe down, make sure I got it all off. Moving along to the fourth step is the overnight resurfacing serum. So I'm going to start by applying a few dots over my face and then I'm going to proceed to pat it in and get it massaged into my skin. All right, now for the fifth and final step, I will be applying the balancing moisturizer. So while I'm applying the moisturizer, I just wanted to jump in and let you guys know the facial routine I'll be following. So for the first week, I'll be doing this process every other day. I promise to keep you all updated through this journey as well. So follow me on Instagram and TikTok because you may not always have the time to watch my YouTube video updates. So here's how my face looks after day one facial. As you can see, the bumps are pretty red, but there was absolutely no burning or tingling from any of the products used. They actually left my face so refreshed and so clean. Well, that's it. That's all, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, stay safe and be blessed. Peace.